What's up everybody? We are starting the day here. We're about to head to Mark's place, Last Human Garage, and um, do our do 88 intercooler, but I wanted to show you guys what air intake temps look like. Right here at idle is 116.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and the ambient temp outside right now is 81 degrees. So throughout the drive on the way down, um, we'll do some pulls and such and see how bad the heat soak is when, uh, when we're full throttle. And then we'll be able to compare ooh, to when, uh, after the intercooler so and we'll also I went out about a week or so ago and did some draggy runs I forget exactly what I got I think it was like 12 6 9 or 12 6 8 or something on the street quarter mile but the car was also rather heat soaked I think I put a little bit too much 85 in it and that was with the racing line box but the more I play around with that box see I never really did quarter mile runs with it until then normally I don't have enough road and sign, whatnot. Turn right. um, but it, like on higher speed, say at like 100-ish, wherever it's shifting up there, it shifts really, it seems like it shifts slower and then once it does shift, it doesn't get back on the power like 100% like the stock tune does. So I think I might actually be faster stock tune with the intercooler than what I do um, without the intercooler or stock intercooler with the racing line box. Go we'll past see. This light. Then at the next um, one, turn left. Same thing. So we'll we'll just see. I'm I'm really excited to um, test this out. My buddy Bogdan, Bog Bogdan. At the light. I think I'm saying his name right. Turn left onto Mercury Boulevard. Um, he just installed his Dewey intercooler on his S3. Uh, he's overseas. And he hasn't done any draggy runs yet, but he told me he feels a massive difference in the car um, just doing the intercooler. So we're gonna find out today. All right, guys, AC is off. We're at about 78 mile an hour. Air intake temp is 96.8. Ambient temp is 83. So as soon as we get around this little hump here, we'll give her a little downshift and go. Ready? Oh, of course the screen turns off. 102, 105, 109, 110. Yeah, so we're looking at about, about 30 degrees over ambient at wide open throttle, which is just crazy. That's not good. We'll do another pool when there's less traffic again before we get to Mark's, but that is really bad. Wow. Here we go again. We're going to try another pull here. Let's go to a fourth gear. Let's see, 104. It's 85 out now. Just climbing, climbing. 110, 111. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That was from like 60 to 90 degrees, or 60 to 90 mile an hour. I jumped. That is just no way to. At all. All right, guys. One more pull since I missed my exit, and there's like no traffic. Oh no, I lied. I'm gonna use the left myself. two lanes to keep left to merge onto I-64 West. See what we can do. Do here real quick. Third gear. I just saw there was 112 and it's 83 degrees out so yeah 30 degrees over ambient that's not good that's very not good so we'll be back we'll do some more runs and a draggy run or two or five miles. after this uh, after River this Road install East. but uh, just be mindful I have 
like probably 45, 50 pounds worth of tools in the trunk, along with the intercooler. Um, well, the new intercooler is obviously heavier and that's in the trunk right now, so the stock one will be back there on the way home. Anyway, first launch control. Ten above ambient. Oh, was it even then? Yeah, that got down to ninety-five, and it's eighty-three oh, out. So yeah, rough. Right now you can wait here until there's nothing there for a while. Probably now. There's nothing. Yeah. Control and you can, you can do a dig if you want, or or just floor. This is, this is where I do my digs. about 8 to 12 degrees above ambient I do have like I said earlier a bunch of stuff in the car uh, adding probably 60 extra pounds of weight but uh, you know we're gonna do a pool now with um, with this up on the screen I need to turn on my draggy here actually which I forgot to do I want to be ready to go but uh, we're gonna turn the draggy on and do a dig from here and see what we get Alright guys, it says the DA right now is 1653. Draggy's ready to go. You see intake temps right now are 120 degrees. Go right past this. I dropped 10 degrees just doing that little bit. So oh, this isn't even off yet. Alright, here we go. No racing line box. We'll turn around and do it with the racing line. The chirp second. Compared to my my run the other night, um, we did 12.62 at 110. That was with a little bit of E85 in the tank, like two gallons to a, two gallons are like 14, so I don't know, like an E20 something mix, along with the racing line box installed. Then right now we just did 12.63 with no ethanol and no racing line box. So I'm gonna go over here, pull over, plug the racing line box in, and see what we get and that was also at night time this is obviously midday it's about the hottest point of the day so wish i remembered where the e85 station was around here all right guys we're gonna do two final runs before we close this video out just put some e85 in the car plugged in the racing line box it's like no traffic behind me there
was even slower. 12.9. Damn. I mean, I was kind of going uphill. That's upsetting. Well, we will, uh, we'll just have to revisit this on a, on a cooler night, I guess. Yeah, I need to get back up to the quarter mile where I can drop my tire pressures. That's, you know, good for the launch and, uh, you know, like a uh, prep track type thing. What am I doing? Oh, well. I can feel a difference. Not a huge difference, but I do feel a difference. And we can see that the intake temps are lower. We get that now that we have the engine mounts and the dog bone mount and all the Burke line things dialed in. I think a good cool night at the track uh, will we'll make a personal best for sure. Starting but, route to home. And so that, it's so weird that, you know, that first run I did, which was a 12, six, what, three? With no ethanol and no racing line box was only you know 0.01 slower than you know a couple weeks ago when it was much cooler at night with the ethanol and the racing line bucks plugged in so that right there shows me something I just don't know what because it's not consistent so we will have to re-attack miles take exit 263 a onto US at a night south this is just I was already down here toward James River Bridge uh, to install the intercooler and that's the spot I usually go to so I don't know. We're going to attack. Let me know what you guys think. There's uh, quite the amount of variables here, but uh, I don't know. I feel like the car will make a PB if I make it to the track. A nice cool night. Yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. So, guys, I just had a thought. Just because I can feel that when the racing line box is plugged in, it doesn't shift as quickly and after the shift it's not it like i wouldn't say hesitate but it takes a, a little bit of time to get back on it i guess i don't know what i don't know what it does it's it's something odd it's like it's dropping all boosts or at least half the boost or something between shifts or something you know it's just a piggyback it's just tricking the system so something's going on there with the trans but um i think maybe if i unplug it and then try again with ethanol, that might be the move. So if I'm feeling froggy tonight, we'll go back out, do another couple passes. Um, I really don't want to come all the way down here and do that. I got to find somewhere on my side of the bridge, my side of the tunnel to, uh, to do that at. And if I do, I'll put that at the end. If not, again, thanks for watching.